was being blamed for something that not only I didn't do, but that happened to me. Fans say that there are signs why Meghan Markle's relationship with Kate Middleton cannot be fixed ever. According to sources, there is absolutely no hope. It's been a minute since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped down as senior members of the royal family, and just as long since they started clashing with Kate Middleton, or maybe even longer. And by the looks of it, a reconciliation seems unlikely maybe even impossible. It's tough to pinpoint the exact origin of the drama between the Sussexes and Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and obviously Prince William, but Harry's memoir, Spare, and the couple's Oprah interview where they implied that they weren't being treated well by the royal family certainly didn't help. It didn't make sense. According to the Daily Beast, a friend of William and Kate said that the communication between the parties has been nearly non-existent. They revealed both sides understand each other's position clearly now. William and Catherine felt completely betrayed by Harry's memoir. They don't speak to Harry and Meghan, and they are certainly not about to start. While what happened between the couples is undeniably sad, a rekindling seems out of reach. From Harry's remaining close relatives siding with Catherine and William to Meghan and Harry being kept in the dark about Catherine's diagnosis, these these signs suggest that reconciliation is not on the horizon, at least not for now. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle might have been on the outs with the royal family, but they reportedly kept a tight bond with Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, especially Harry, who was practically BFF with Eugenie growing up, at least initially. An insider told People in August 2023, this whole drama between him and Meghan and the rift with the rest of the family has been really tiring for the girls. It's hard to watch because they see both sides of it. However, a year later, the sister seems to have changed their stance, siding with Prince William and Kate Middleton instead. What gives? Beatrice and Eugenie have firmly pledged their alliance to the royal family, a source dish to the Daily Express, pointing out that that they're now good as strangers to Harry and Meghan. They haven't communicated with the Sussexes for quite a while now. They're nowhere near as close as they once were, they said. The good news is Princess Eugenie and her husband, Jack Brooksbank, aren't about to torch the whole relationship. They're apparently making sure that they're not burning any bridges. The insider continued to say they're very careful about what they say to friends because they don't want to be seen as bad-mouthing Harry or Meghan. There's still a friendship there, but it's just not like as close as a family bond as they had before Harry moved to America. When Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped down as senior members of the royal family, they probably didn't anticipate being completely shut out of important family matters. But they reportedly weren't even clued in about Kate Middleton's diagnosis. Like everyone else, they found out through the TV. Despite all this royal drama, Harry and Meghan still managed to give a response to what was happening with the Princess of Wales. Perhaps a sign that they still want to call it a truce. According to Page Six, they said, we wish healing for Kate and the family and hope they are able to do so privately and in peace. What do you guys think of all this? Do you think that Meghan and Harry will be able to reconcile with the family? Let us know what your thoughts are. I'm your host, Jess. I hope you enjoyed this video.